Where's my lace? Where's my lace? Yeah, I know. She looks good. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I have another hair video for you, and this wig, y'all, literally, maybe, maybe took me 15 minutes to put on. Like, not even joking. Look at this hairline. Blended, and guess what? Glueless. I did not glue her down. This lace melted. You know what? I'm going to wait till I get into the video because you have to see it. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I hope you decide to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I have a fly away. I feel it. <laughs> I do hair videos. I do lots of makeup, tutorials, reviews, lots of hauls. If y'all are not new to my channel, you know your girl loves to shop. But hair has become one of my new little favorite things and I'm excited to show you another wig that if you're a beginner, this video is for you. I'm super excited about this wig because it is a closure and I have learned that these are the easiest wigs to put on and blend, especially if you're a beginner. What's also exciting about this wig is that it has a new bigger parting space. So instead of your standard four by four or five by five, this one is a seven by five, which means you're gonna be able to do that deep C part or part in different sections and it's gonna help the hair look more realistic. So. Love Me Hair is stepping up their game. Y'all know I've worked with them before. I'm not gonna talk too much because we need to get into this install. So this is the box right here. Of course, we know and love this purple box. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing on screen just so you guys can see first impressions versus doing a voiceover. This is the wig right here, which we're gonna get into. Got a little snag. I feel like this is normally in a little Ziploc or something. I'm gonna have to rip that. So you do get a baby hair brush, love getting these. You get your little purple bag that you can put your wig in to store. You get your wig caps. I feel like these come pretty standard in every wig. What is this? This is your headscarf to help tie down the front and melt it. I love that they have started including these labels to label your boxes. And then I'm not sure what this is. I think it might be a bonnet. Yes, no. Yes. Oh, okay, this is different. So this is a bonnet, but this part is not stretchy. So I feel like that would be good to help keep your wig laid in the front, but then in the back it's stretchy and then it ties. So that's kind of cool. This, I've never seen one like this before, but let's get into this hair because we all know we need to see it. So this is their seven by six Parting Max Glueless Loose Body Wave Closure HD Ready to Go wig. First of all, love that it has these curls. I was wondering if I was gonna have to style it, but I will not. And then let's take a look at this hairline. I'm gonna leave this paper in it, but y'all look at the part. Already parted for you. Knots are bleached. The only thing you have to do is cut the lace off. This looks so pretty and this is the side. I have my part on, so love a left side. It is pre-plucked. The knots on this are also pre-bleached. So when they say ready to go, this wig is ready to go. You're supposed to be able to wear it 100% glueless, which y'all know I love. It's supposed to lay flat. The ear tabs, there are no ear tabs. So it has this design here. You don't have to worry about any kind of hassle with your tabs staying down. This should be able to lay flat, which I love that. And that's why I love closures. You don't have to worry about your sides not sticking, which I tend to have a lot of trouble with. So according to the measurements, this is supposed to be seven inches across and then six inches deep. Where is my measuring tape? Let's find out. 
So I hope y'all can see that. My finger is in the way on this side, but that is the seven inches. So yes, we do have seven inches across the front. And we know from the last wig that I reviewed by Love Me, which was actually not the right wig. That one was a five by five. This is true to what the measurements say, seven by six. To finish showing off the cap construction, you do also have your two combs here on the side. So that'll help be able to keep the wig in place. You have your comb in the back. You have your adjustable band on the inside also to help you wear it glueless, but there are no adjustable bands in the back. So this is a silicone kind of grip that's supposed to be able to stick to your skin and help keep the wig from sliding. I've noticed a lot of wig companies starting to do that. Tell me what y'all think about that. Do you like the bands in the back that you can tighten or just having this elastic kind of silicone band because if the wig is tight you can't do anything about that and we know I got a big head so let's hope that's not a problem but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my pinking shears and I'm just gonna cut this lace off we're not even putting this on my wig head like I really don't feel like I need to do all that and I like these because they cut the lace for you I'm gonna show you how it's starting here in a zigzag motion so you'll be able to see it once I get it on my head but it just makes it a little easier to do it and you don't have to worry about trying to make sure you got your scissors lined up right and all that stuff this adjustable band is already sewn in so you cannot take that out and you don't have to worry about it sliding I'm gonna go ahead and put this wig grip on real quick because I wear this with all of my wigs it just helps it give more security and I personally do not like to put the combs in because I don't like that tension pulling on my hair so this just makes it another way for it to be secure for me without pulling my hair there is no smell and I love that this comes curled already I'm gonna put the adjustable band first and then slide this on down <laughs> straight out the box all right let's see how these ear tabs fit because right now this is how it's looking I don't have it quite in place yet I don't like my wig too far down on my forehead there we go so as far as the ear tabs go this is pretty much covering Oh, got me a hair in the way. This is pretty much covering my hairline. And there's a little bit of my hair left out. I could pull to try to blend, but we're going to not do that. So I don't know if it's going to be better to leave it back some or pull it more to the front. But I do feel like this wig is laying super flat, straight out the box. This is 18 inches. It is also, of course, 100% human hair, 180% density. So it is pretty full. I'm not, y'all, these curls are perfect. I can never curl my hair and get it to stay like this. Like, I really don't feel like I have to do anything. I'll let you see the lace up close. Let's go ahead and find my little clip. Did they give me a clip this time? no hold on just gonna pin this hair back so you guys can get a good look at this hairline because we all know that can make a break a wig and i think this looks good could you pluck it a little bit more sure but for a beginner like we're not plucking that there is absolutely no need i'm gonna cut a little bit more of the lace off here on this side i don't need to on this side but so far she's looking good. I'm going to speed through the install because I do want to wear this glueless. So it's more or less just like I said, making a few adjustments. And then I have my mousse, which also acts as just an adhesive to kind of help it stay down and help it blend better. But y'all, this is going to be so easy. And this hair, it is so soft. I don't want to comb it, but we're going to comb it, style it, and that's going to be it because this wig is gorgeous. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way I 
you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Y'all, <laughs> I'm done with this wig. I absolutely love when I can just put a wig on and do minimal work to it and it comes out looking like this. I am honestly speechless. I was so excited when I saw this wig on the website, so I was really hoping that it got sent to me. But honestly, if it hadn't, I would have bought it because I wanted something that was going to be easy to put on. Didn't take a lot of work and look at this hairline. Like, what are we talking about? No glue. All I did was put my mousse. And if I wanted to pull it up, like, it's up. This is not glued down. It's just, it looks like it's melted into my skin and it's not. So, I have no worries. Let me give you the 360, 18 inches. So, it's not too long. Perfect length for me. But I hope you can see the density. This hair is just so bouncy, so soft. You can't tell me that doesn't look like it's growing out of my head. Love Me Hair has done it again. Thank you so much for sending me this wig. I absolutely love it. I will have a discount code for you guys below if I get one. You know how that works. It is not commission based. I don't earn anything off of it. It is strictly for you to get a discount. So if you want to pick up this wig, you want something easy to put on, throw on and go, melt your lace, put you a little bronzer just to darken it up. Quick tip, if you look up and you see a line, your lace needs to be darker. So put a little bit darker of a powder or foundation on your forehead because looking down, where's my lace? Where's my lace? Yeah, I know. She looks good. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know. Are you going to pick up this wig? What do you think about how it looks? The curls? All that good stuff. I love hearing from you. Thank you again. Love me hair. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.